Glenn T. Seaborg was born in Ishpeming, Michigan on April 19, 1912. He lived for there for the first 10 years of his wondrous life. Then his family sold all their belongings and home for a one-way trip to California for gold and prosperity, but they only found extreme poverty. In 1929, Glenn graduated from David Starr High School as the valedictorian of his class. Even though he possessed interest in higher education, one thing stood in his way, finances. Glenn's only way to obtain a scholarship to a college. For that to occur, he would need to pass a high school science course, a burden he had tried to avoid prior. So in his junior year, he reluctantly signed up for his first science class, chemistry. Then the rest of his life fell into place. Glenn Seaborg was blessed with one of those truly charismatic teachers who, if we are fortunate, sometimes touch our lives and whom we never forget. His high school chemistry teacher made science come alive. He transmitted not only his knowledge of the facts, but, far more important, his joy and wonder and enthusiasm and love for the subject. Young Seaboard was instantly smitten. He recalled that he knew, after only a small time in chemistry class, that he would most certainly continue his education, but it would not be in literature. For the rest of the school year, Seaboard's world blossomed and expanded as chemistry came alive for him. At the end of the term, he eagerly signed up for another year of science with the same teacher, only discovered that there was one subject even more fascinating than chemistry, and it was physics. After his, disco after, he received after his discovery of love for science, he was accepted to the University of California, Los Angeles, where he received a bachelor's degree in 1934. Next, he was able to receive a doctorate in 1937 from the University of California, Berkeley. By earning his bachelor's degree in chemistry from USLA, Seaborg had taken all the physics courses he could find, including one in modern physics, where he was introduced to the exciting work taking place on the frontiers of nuclear physics. Energized anew, he set his sights on that emerging field and on another seemingly unattainable goal, graduate school. His Ph.D. was awarded in 1937, and Berkeley remained his home base for the rest of his life. Dr. Seaborg was given a leave of absence, from the University of California from 1942 to 1946, during which period he headed the plutonium work of the Manhattan Project at the University of Chicago Metallurgical Laboratory. He discovered plutonium there. Some of his awards were um, 1948 John Erickson Gold Medal by the American Society of Swedish Engineers, the 1962 Swedish American of the Year, and a Nobel Prize in 1951 for chemistry. Glenn T. Seaborg is an intellectual man because of his thirst for knowledge, persevere because of the many financial issues. Rest in peace, Glenn T. Seaborg.